Okay, so we are going to talk about, very briefly, how you use the Submit program to submit your work to the Grade Grinder. And what I'm going to do is um, simply go to my doc, open up the Submit program. Uh, you will have saved uh, your uh, program in a place that's convenient for you. Um, I think the installer uh, files will typically, if you're uh, installing onto um, a laptop or a tower, will go to the applications, automatically install to the applications folder. Uh, but you can uh, put your, your uh, programs, I think, pretty much wherever you want. All right, so think about the submit program as like an email program you are going to use the uh, license number, the registration ID that came with your book. Uh, if you bought the e-copy, then you will uh, have, it should be an email um, that has that ID. Um, and that is a number that is going to be connected to you. So more specifically, it's going to be connected to your email address. So make sure you use an email address that you're going to take with you wherever you go because this is not a registration that expires. It's great. It's not like, you know, like my math lab or something like that where you get a short term, like a semester long access to uh, the platform. Submit is, or sorry, the registration ID uh, gives you a... Uh, uh, I believe it's lifelong, uh, or for however long the uh, program's around, uh, access to the Grade Grinder, which is the program that automatically uh, uh, reviews um, and provides feedback for all of your uh, LPL exercises. That is, all the exercises in the textbook that are associated with a program. So uh, let's suppose, let's just use the number that they're giving us. Here's what you'll do. You'll type in the number associated with um, uh, the materials that you bought. Then you will put your name. I'm going to call you Philosophy Guru and your email uh, address. So permanent email at email.com, whatever that is. Then if you and I are working together, you're going to use my name and the email address that you will use is woodmc at piercecollege.edu. So the really nice thing about um, this is that once you submit work and you include me as a recipient of the report, um, the, all of your work gets populated in my folder for our course, and then I'm able to review your work. So once you filled uh, in this material, choose the files you want to submit. Now, I had mentioned to you in another video that you should save your uh, completed uh, homework and other practice files in a place that's easy to access. Do not, I do not recommend, so do not uh, save your files in with the pre-given files, the files that come with your programs. Those are the files that are tied to the textbook. If you get those mixed up, then things can, can um, become confusing very quickly. You might save over files that you don't mean to and so forth. So I've got my files saved according to chapter. And then I have a, for, for whatever reason, I have uh, some files that are outside of folders. Uh, let's suppose that I want to submit a Tarski's World sentence file and I want to submit a Tarski's World world file. I click on one, I add the other, or I, you know, I highlight both, and then I hit the Add button, and now I'm ready to go. Now, you'll notice when I opened up the Select Files to Submit uh, window, uh, automatically I was taken to the last time I, the last place I was, 
and that was the place where I keep my folders, my uh, exercise files. But you'll notice that you can, if, if, if the program doesn't automatically take you to where you keep your files, you can find them, right? So you've got some drop down uh, menus. You've also got the home uh, button that'll take you to your, um, in this case for me, it's a, uh, an Apple uh, desktop uh, uh, window. But again, save your homework files, your, uh, your practice files in a place that's easy to access. Now, once you're done, click done, and then you will click submit files. Now, I'm not going to hit the button submit files because I'll get an error message that says this registration ID is not associated with any book, right? So it's uh, important that you um, put the correct registration ID in. Well, actually, I will hit submit files, but I'm not going to um, uh, actually hit OK. That's what I should have said. What you want to be able to do is when you're just plain old practicing or if you want to just check your work, click send the report to just me, which is you. When you're ready to submit for a grade, click Instructor 2. I'm going to ask you to not click Instructor 2 unless you're ready to have me see the report. If I get tons and tons and tons of reports because you're just constantly including me, it gets a little bit overwhelming on my end anyway. Right? So hit just me until you're ready. If you hit just me, you'll get a report. Nothing goes to me. Nothing will be populated in my open proof um, uh, folder that's devoted to our course. You can also add a text message. So if there's something that's really important that you want to say, like, Mia, this is the best course ever. Well, that's not really very important for you to say in a text message. <laughs> that's a, you want something relevant, right? So um, you can always include a text message, and I will see that message, right? But you don't have to. So when you're ready and uh, you or sorry, rephrase, if you just want to check how you're doing, you'll get a report back immediately, almost immediately. When you're ready to submit for a score, click Instructor 2, then click OK. The report gets uh, sent to me and to you very, very quickly. So it's really nice you get this sort of automatic feedback. It's much faster than if I were manually grading each of your uh, homeworks or any additional exercises that you do. So even though I'm sort of out of the loop on looking at your work when you're doing it, you get immediate feedback, virtually immediate feedback. Um, and that's really great because you can keep practicing until uh, you get, get, until things go very well. Now if everything goes well, Greg Grinder sends you these really dorky messages like cowabunga dude, you know, for any given exercise set. If there's a problem, you will be told there's a problem. Um, if no file was to be submitted, but you did submit it, so let's say you were told for a given exercise set to only submit, let's say, a sentence file, but you submitted a world file too, you know, you'll know, you get a message about that, but that doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. The Grade Grinder program is, and this is really important, the Grade Grinder program is... Uh, able to detect duplicate files. So it's really important that you submit your own work. You don't want to copy anybody else's. Not only because that's an automatic F, but it's also not helpful for your learning, right? If you're having trouble and you want to see samples, talk to me. I will make sure that you get samples, but make sure that the work you submit is your own. Otherwise, Grade Grinder um, generates a plagiarism report. All right, so that's pretty much it for submit as an overview. Uh, if you have questions, problems, confusions, let me know. Otherwise, have fun.